Uh, hi guys, we're going to do some uh, multi-cam editing. Uh, I'm using Final Cut Pro 10. I'm going to tell a little bit about multi-cam editing. It's basically when you use two or more video cameras at the same time using the same audio sources, usually in the same location. Now, in my case, um, we recorded the tech webcast. It's actually uh, located in, in different locations. I'm in um, Portland, Texas, and uh, I broadcast it out live while we're doing the tech webcast. And then Jason Oakley in Australia is uh, recording to disc only, and we're all synced using Skype together using the same audio. So I'm going to choose both video clips and uh, which is command and then click each video we're using. And uh, we're going to right click and um, we're going to use what's called synchronized clips. Um, basically every audio source that you use has to have an, an audio track or a vi every video, yeah, video source needs audio track because that's how they synchronize the clips together um, using the audio. And once you do that, it will synchronize the video portion as well because uh, if you don't, they might be slightly off and you might hear somebody talking when nobody's lips are moving and vice versa and it makes it uh, kind of a bad video edit. So we're gonna go ahead and choose that. Okay, it makes a third clip, which is uh, actually called a compound clip, which has all the video and audio sources together. You'll see a little icon at the very top left hand side of the third video clip it creates, uh, showing you it's a uh, compound clip. Now, why we could click and drag it down here to the timeline, or as uh, Final Cut Pro 10 says, um, the main storyline. We're not going to do that because then it creates just one video clip. We've got to double click it and then you don't get no audio. It's very hard to edit. So we're going to double click it and it will separate the two video tracks just like so. Okay, we're also uh, another thing we're going to do set up, uh, set up for the edit is we're going to zoom in uh, before we edit because it makes it um, it's far more easier to do the individual edits because it's like a 38 minute uh, show. Okay, once we do that, um, okay. It always chooses, uh, just to let you know, it always chooses one video clip as the main storyline and everything else is attached to that main storyline, whether it be video or audio. And uh, my video right here is actually the main storyline and then uh, Jason Oakley's is the one that's it's attached to my video. So we're going to choose the top one and we're going to actually detach the audio for each one. We're going to right click and detach audio, which puts it uh, right below. I'm going to uh, click on my video recorded, right click and detach audio as well. Okay, now we, we got uh, two audio sources. Now we re really only need one and they might be slightly off and you'll hear like a little delay action. As it sees, it's not perfect, so we're going to actually um, disable one, or you can delete it, so you can choose which one you want to do. We're just going to disable it in this instant, and you'll just hear mine. The um, technology is against me. Uh, just like so. Okay, basically what we're going to do is, anytime... Um, Brad or some of the other people uh, during the broadcast ask me a question or something, I'm, it's going to pan to me. So I'm going to uh, do that for the edit. Um, we're also going to edit the intro. When it goes, uh, it pans to Jason Oakley. You'll see that here in a minute. We're going to try to do this quickly. Um, right about here. So we're going to put, uh, click on his video. Right at that point and where it pans to him and I'm going to place an M marker. Uh, just like so. And a marker basically what it does is it puts a little blue marker. That's where uh, I'm going to do my edits. So I'm going to do some edits, uh, edit markers first and then I'm going to go back and do the actual editing process. 
Okay, we're also going to pan, uh, get the next one. Oop, I didn't mean to do that. Let's take that marker off here. In Australia, we can anyway. We don't have but the other one won't broad oh here we go okay here's the second edit right here coming up hey what's up nope. <laughs> <laughs> no. this week uh, yeah how's Casey doing but Casey back on hey Casey do you want to report on anything <laughs> no um well you know Apple uh, yeah, we'll be getting into that during the show. During the show, yep. I know. That's cool. And I've uh, got Steve. Hey, Steve. Okay, we're going to stop right there. In fact, we may back out a few frames. Okay, we're going to set an M marker right there. That's where it's going to pan me. And I might actually have to zoom back out. It's uh, a little bit right there. Okay. That's kind of a sad day when Skype's the dependable one. The other one won't broadcast out, but I, I can do everything else, like Skype in with you guys. <laughs> That's about it. Oh, God. Okay, we're going to stop right there. That's where it's going to pan back to uh, Jason Oakley. We're going to put an M again for the next uh, edit right there. And uh, that should be enough for right now uh, to show you the uh, multicam editing process. Okay, now we're going to choose the up here, and we're going to select the cursor to go to Razor Blade. Just like so. And I'm going to cut the top portions out where the blue markers are. Right here. It kind of sticks right there. And you just um, cut it right there. And the rest of the blue markers. Um, and then there's the third. And now I'm going to select the position. Select mar uh, cursor because I don't want to accidentally cut any video. As well. Um, we're going to take this intro portion off um, and it's going to kind of pan to uh, Jason Oakley. We're going to delete that and we're also going to delete this one right here where they kind of asked me a question here and you can see you can see my video now because anything that's above the main storyline it will show that video unless you cut it out so I'm going to show you what it looks like and then we'll pan the other one more at techwebcast.info. Here are your hosts, Brad and Jason. Welcome to episode 171 of the Tech Web. And you see a little bit of my video in there. It's because we're, we're to not totally synchronized, me and Jason. And uh, we're going to go where, uh, where it pans to me. Uh, yeah, we'll be getting into that during the show. During the show, yep. I know. That's cool. And I've got Steve. Hey, Steve. Hey, what's Steve. up? Even though my internet's sucky right I now. So i got an internet problem too, Steve. Welcome to the club, mate. <laughs> What's going on with your internet provider? Um, they're, they're down. I've got two, but the other one won't broadcast out. But I, I can do everything else, like Skype in with you guys. <laughs> That's about it. Oh, God. Okay. That's kind of a sad day when Skype's the dependable one. <laughs> okay, uh, that's a little bit on the uh, multicam editing, doing it manually. Um... Just keep in mind, Final Cut Pro 10 doesn't do it natively yet. Uh, it's a feature where it kind of sets up multicam edi editing automatically. So, um, actually, the, the manual method probably um, you learn more doing it that way. Uh, it's easier to understand it than uh, the automatic way. So, that should be coming out within the next three weeks for kind of pro, uh, Final Cut Pro 10. So, uh, hopefully, uh, you enjoyed this uh, demo uh, video.